We started Vine Place Community Outreach uh, to expand on the vision of our food pantry. Uh, we saw the tremendous need uh, that was here in first of our congregation, our own people, but then also in the community. And so we needed to, to expand um, upon what we were already successful in. And so Vine Place was created uh, in order to expand uh, the outreach of our church and our vision uh, to move beyond the four walls. Well, the food pantry provides for the physical needs of our church, of our membership uh, first, and then the community. Um, we needed a way to, to make uh, concrete the vision that Jesus has, that we would share the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 16, verse 15, he says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Well, we don't believe that the gospel is just verbal, it's just uh, communicated through words, but also through deeds and actions. Well, the food pantry is how we make Jesus's vision a reality in our church and in our community and our people and the processes that we have in place uh, in order to meet the supplemental needs uh, of the community uh, to, in order to fill in the gaps to what uh, the government cannot provide and what other agencies and services and programs can't can provide, True Vine fills in those gaps and our people and the process that we have in place makes this a reality. The pantry is open Tuesdays and Thursdays every week. We open at 9 a.m. to 11, 12 o'clock noon. All right, we're averaging on a monthly basis, we're serving about 315 families uh, and that equates to about 918 individuals a month. We're averaging 6,000 individuals a year. The total distribution that we have received in food uh, donations uh, is about 1,150,609 pounds through the Mississippi Food Network and Feeding America. We have several partners, uh, retail partners we have through the Miss, uh, Mississippi Food Network and also Feed America. Feed America opens up to give us the opportunity to connect with uh, retail, with the retail market. What I mean by retail market, and that's uh, Costco, Dollar General, Walmart, Starbucks, all of these are retail partners that we pick up, get donations from. Our intake person is the first person that a client uh, come in contact with. That intake person finds out the, the, their need, what, how many is in the family, what size box we need to make for them. And then that information is handed off to our distribution specialist. A distribution specialist makes sure that all of the food items are included in the box for that individual. Then we have a regular volunteer group uh, that takes the uh, those boxes, once they're built and completed, they take them out to the individual client's car and place in the car. The client never gets out of the car. Once those items are in the trunk of the car, they are, uh, they are finished here and they tr uh, transition off the campus. We have several uh, groups of volunteers. We have a Monday group that comes in to help stop. And then we have a Tuesday group that helps uh, distribute, intake, and, and process that food. And then we have a Thursday group that comes in to help with uh, intake and distribution. And then we have a Friday group, again, that helps with uh, bringing in stock, getting ready for the following week and the following next group. We have also drivers that go out to the various locations to pick up the food and bring it back. We also have uh, pickups at different location manufacturers like for boxes, empty boxes, we get them by the trailer loads. We've talked about all of the things that we do, but I think our greatest asset are the volunteers, those that find that not robbery to come out to be used as instruments and the Lord's service to those that found themselves in a situation uh, through no fault of their own. Uh, so our volunteers uh, deserve kudos. Those that come out 
and get up out of their warm spaces to come to help on cold days. And then on hot days, they come to serve, to help folks. I think uh, no amount of thank you would be suffice for those that come out. When the pandemic occurred, uh, we could have easily shut the doors uh, out of concern, out of health concern. But our volunteers said no. That's not what we need to do. That's not what we have been purposed to do. Our purpose is to serve the community in times like this. And if not now, when? So what we decided to do is we did the drive-through so that we were able to meet the needs of the community without coming in physical contact. We have been able to meet the needs in several areas, especially when it comes to uh, acts of nature, hurricanes and storms where people have become misplaced. Uh, case in point, we partnered with Homeland Security during the storm in Louisiana when a lot of folks were misplaced and moved into this area, into the local hotels and motels. We were able to meet those needs with water, hygiene supplies, and we went out, uh, we were able through our culinary division to supply hot meals on more than one occasion members of True Vine Baptist Church in Brandon are working closely with Hurricane Ida victims and today they made sure they got a much needed hot meal. Carmen Poe has that story. We just want to be the one that was trying to take up where somebody else had left out. These women are doing more than just filling in the gap with a hundred or so plates. Did you count the pieces on there? Anytime you see seasoning and preparation in the kitchen like this, you know it's about reaching the soul. This is ready to go in the oven. Food is, is kind of a way of um, letting people know that they're loved. You know, the closest uh, way to a person's heart uh, is through their stomach. So uh, to have a meal uh, makes it a little bit more normal. Sister McKee says she agreed to feed families living in hotels before she even gathered the church cooks together because she knew it wasn't a question of if, but rather, what time do I need to be there? Nobody I called said I can't do it all. Church me next time. Everybody was ready, willing to do this. This isn't a new venture for these cooks or the service arm of the church, Vine Place Community Outreach. Some 500 people a month, every Tuesday and Thursday, come here for food. Our focus is to touch the heart of the community, and we do that by reaching out. It's just what they do. That's what they all say, because when someone needs a hand up, no matter where they're from, it's their job. Well, we are, we are a community of humans, and uh, we all have the same basic needs. We need to eat, we need to sleep, and we need to be loved, and we try to meet that need. Carmen Poe, three on your side. We also did a coat drive. Uh, through one warm coat, we were able to meet uh, the needs of those that were homeless and found themselves without uh, adequate one uh, apparel, we were able to supply that need as well. Now we have partnered with uh, our agency Love Thy Neighbor where we are able to supply uh, furniture for those that are caught in distress, whether it be fire or acts of, other acts of nature, that we are able to uh, act as a clearing house. We don't store anything, but we meet the, the person's needs with someone who has it. So we're able to uh, meet the community needs in that effort as well. Also, we get, uh, we partner with the uh, Northwest Rankin and Brandon School District uh, for can drive. Finally, I would like to share that, you know, when we're blessed and we want to expand on the blessings and see others, see this, uh, this same blessing uh, in other churches and other communities uh, in the greater Jackson area and right here in Rankin County. Uh, we're already partnering with churches and with pastors. Uh, our uh, leader, our director, uh, Deacon Rainey, is always, uh, each and every week, he's reaching out to churches and other organizations to see how we can expand on what we're doing and, and start these initiatives and start these starter uh, uh, um, 
processes in other churches and organizations as well. So we just want to share the love of Jesus Christ and we and, and we just want people to know uh, that God loves them and this is the one of the best way to know is that when they uh, receive the food into their vehicles uh, and just to look in their eyes to see uh, how they we have impacted uh, that one family, that one child, that one community then we know that we have shared the love of God.